Closer to home, Savannah's newest square may be getting an addition honoring the state's oldest African American Baptist Church. Yamacross Square was unveiled late last year in front of the First Bryan Baptist Church. The Andrew Bryan Community Development Corporation now asking for your help to honor the church's late founder. WTOC's Camille Syed tells us how they hope to immortalize a man playing a big role in our history. His courage, his fearlessness. This is one of the only depictions of Reverend Andrew Bryan, the founder of First Bryan Baptist Church. But walk with me. A sculptor and several others are leading the effort to get a bus placed here of Reverend Bryan honoring his legacy in Savannah and across the country. Jerome Meadows and Bob Spell are two of the bunch hoping to get the newest addition to Savannah's newest square up for the public's eye. Born in Charleston, Reverend Bryan bought his freedom from slavery slavery in the 18th century and built what many believe was the first African American Baptist Church. This will be one of many sculptures Meadows has done on prominent black leaders and says there's no denying Bryant's impact on our area. Considering the, uh, the time that he lived through, uh, the uh, blatant racism that he had to endure, um, his strength and his character, uh, his perseverance. Meadows says his biggest challenge in this roughly 10 month long project will be using this one picture to create a bust of Brian, but he says it's something that needs to be done so the history isn't forgotten. We can avoid the erasure that happens in a lot of African American communities. Reverend Brian and his congregation risked everything to hold church together. Now Meadows and Spell are asking the community to help them reach their goal of $25,000 for this project in Yamacross Square since the city won't be helping foot the bill. I think this is the perfect spot for that bus to be and um, hopefully that it'll just you know peak interest a little bit more and people will spend some time here in the square and reading about the history of each of these plaques. Bell says the Metropolitan Planning Commission will decide if they can move forward with the project next week. Then the Savannah City Council will have the final say. Camille Syed, WTOC News.